Hello guys, welcome to the third episode of Finance Talks with Ahmed. And my guest here today is Naziha Mirza, who is interestingly a Phoenix student who has then become a part of our team over here at Phoenix Financial Training. Not just that, she belongs to Gen Z. I feel really old saying that. But belonging to Gen Z, Naziha, my question to you is, what do you think the Gen Z expects from the employers. Yes, you heard me right. Most of the time, the question around is, what do the employers expect from Gen Z? What do the employers expect from candidates? I want you to address, what do you expect from the employers? Let's change that question, reverse the logic, and welcome to this episode. Thank you, sir, for having me. A uh, very interesting question you, uh, you asked me because it's usually always what the employer wants, what they require. Um, so generally, being a Gen Z, my uh, expectations would be from an employer. It's not always about the money for me. It's uh, whether I am satisfied with what I input into the company, whether uh, my job, my role actually creates value within the company, my work-life balance, appreci appreciation for me, uh, respect for me, gratitude, gratitude within the employees, the colleagues um, in the team, and generally creating this diverse environment, inclu inclusivity um, is what I would uh, look for in a workplace. I don't know why, but I can never get the nerd out of me. While Naziha was talking about these, the Maslow's hierarchy of needs was coming in my head, trying to balance all <laughs> these things out. But how was your experience then at Phoenix Financial Training? Did you find all of these boxes tick when you went on and became a part of the Phoenix team? Yes, I did. Actually, Phoenix uh, was a turning point in my life as an ACCA student uh, wow. and as a team member. I initially joined as an ACCA student. And I feel like ACC just set the uh, Phoenix just set the standard for me. I did not fail even one paper since joining this. Not a sales pitch, but wow. generally, I didn't fail one paper. And then uh, that transition into a team member really, uh, I felt like I was valued within the company. I was seen. I was heard. I was appreciated for everything that um, the tasks that I completed. So I really, I really valued that. There was always room for constructive feedback. Um, I was always supported in every decision that I made, every step that I took. And it was very easy for me to um, own up to any mistakes I made, if, they, if I made. Right. <laughs> and uh, there was always um, a lot of support within the company, which I really, really valued. Right. Interesting. What were some instances which inspired you at Phoenix Financial Training? Um. Actually, the first hangout that we had uh, back in uh, October, I think it was. And why are you mentioning that right now? <laughs> because I remember getting a beating from her that day. And my God, I think you topped that score the other day, right? Yeah, At X strike it was, I remember. Highest kills. That's one of the memories I want to delete from my life. <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, one of the best experiences I've had because I never had that previously in my uh my old workplace. It was a very negative and toxic work culture for me. To come from that to this was like a big blessing. So I'm very grateful for that. Nikhilzer always created, not just Nikhilzer, everybody within the team always created such a lovely, comfortable environment. And always, everybody always went out of their way to make sure that everybody was included and no one felt left out. It was a very good team bonding session and we do this every every three months. So I appreciate that a lot. I'm pretty sure as a student, when you stepped into Phoenix, you would have never thought this is your potential workplace. No, never. I never thought that. Wow. So it's always crazy to me when I think back on it. And generally speaking, what are your hobbies, Naziha? And how do you manage them with the studies? I know you said you never failed a paper mm -hmm. ever since you joined Phoenix Financial Training, but... How did you lay that all out? How did you manage your hobbies, your studies and work all the time? Because look, many of our jump starters have this question. Yeah. Especially when they're leaving the school, they're joining a professional qualification. They're always thinking, what it's, what's going to happen when I start working? Is it going to impact my studies? Is it going to impact my scores? And I really like Naziha what she mentioned. She said, working did not impact my study. So go no. on and please tell your listeners. Um, ever since I joined Phoenix, there was always um, 
there's always examples around me, uh, Ajin, Abby, that I could always reach out to if I needed any advice on. Um, they were always there to help me, support me. The tutors were always there to advise me on how to approach the paper, how to approach work, and then balance both of them. Interesting. So I would I would always say I had I have time to do what I want to do after work hours and balance both of them. I love reading. I love swimming. And um, you have two cats. I do. I have two cats who I love. <laughs> what breed are those, by the way? They're both Persian. One's a, uh, a breed of uh, Persian and British short hair. So. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. I, I know Persian cats are always royal. They want a royal treatment, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, they do. They're very moody. <laughs> what do you like to read about? Oh, I people are going to think I'm crazy for this, but I love psychological thrillers. I do. Is there something... Called as psychological thrillers. What do you yes. mean by that? That's so, the first time I'm hearing this term. Like, uh, it's very, it's dark. Okay. <laughs> it's Go very on. dark. Now you're getting my attention, <laughs> here. So, uh, crime, mystery, but the dark end of it. So it's uh, there can be gore, violence. Right. So, yeah, I can recommend some books to you later if you want. Um, no, I'm impressed of your choices, Nazia. <laughs> but um, having said that, 100% reading books helps in life. I have only read one book in my life, which has nothing to do with accounting. Diary and of a Wimpy. That was um, uh, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. But <laughs> I, I, I think you, you can tell us you're a book reader. Tell us if that's true. Rather than reading hundreds of books... Hmm. I think if one book can impact your life, you might yeah. have read some books which uh, inspired you or yeah. gave you goals of life. Is it better to read 100 books? And I know book readers have an entire library at home. Mm -hmm. My cousins do I and do. that's... You do yeah. as well. Wow. So tell me, is it better to have an entire library that you've read or is it better to focus on one book and then try to learn from that and make it a part of your life? Very interesting question. I think people would agree to disagree. Some people would approach the 100 books method and get learn something from each experience, whereas others would stick to one mindset and continue that throughout their life. And there's both of these that you can apply to your work experience, to your uh, study experience as well. There right. are students that like to have a constant study method throughout their um their ACC journey, not just ACC, any uh, study journey, or some people that have a strict routine with their work. And others just like to experiment with everything and feel feel how they like it with what they're comfortable. Interesting. So I like how you said it's depend on who you are. Yeah, it, it always depends on Do you what like to want. take small messages from a lot of experiences? Yeah, yeah I, I would prefer to do that than just have that tunnel vision. Right, right. And how do you see yourself in the next five years interesting uh for now i'm just feeling it out seeing how everything goes i'm very blessed to be where i am right now within phoenix as focusing a on the present yes focusing on the present and then we'll see the future how it goes all right that's interesting that was a beautiful chat here with naziha telling us about how her experiences have been now with that in mind i will be back with a lot more guys keep watching stay tuned stay safe